welcome back bears and uh, we're now heading to dubai so sit back and relax and enjoy can we just take a moment to realize that dubai's airport is beautiful like that's it moment on okay but yeah we made it to our hotel, Hilton Dubai Creek, and this place was living up to its expectation, trust me. <laughs> so this is us going up to our room, and this is our room. It was pretty big. But it was very comfortable as well, and uh, as you can see, vanity struck because Kavisha had a million mirrors. <laughs> wakey, wakey! Our first day in Dubai. It was beautiful. <laughs> so today we were going to Dubai's mall, which is the largest mall in the world. This is the firm. I'm not exactly sure of the correct name. And this is one of the tallest buildings. So this was me catching mommy and buying all her perfume. But I got to win Sephora, so I didn't care. <laughs> yeah. mention that my mom is obsessed with perfumes yeah you will see a few in these scripts coming up but she managed to get her name engraved in her perfume nothing could be happier than this woman right now we end up going by the dubai aquarium i would like to believe this is one of the largest aquariums i have ever seen yeah and this is just a few clips of us going through the aquarium that's a stingray <laughs> i thought it was funny and i'll explain more if need be just take a moment to recognize how beautiful this aquarium is and it's filled with seawater not fresh water so that the fishes can feel at home and this is where we started our tour. We met some birds and uh, we saw where they feed the sharks. These fishes, they told us, are the most aggressive fishes in the aquarium because they know once they see human, that's food time. So when feeding them, they get very aggressive like this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> And then we were going on a glass bottom boat for a tour. We went into this makeup jungle and we saw birds and different animals, fishes, beavers. Yeah, it was wild. It was very enjoyable. We saw baby crocodiles, jellyfishes. Yeah, self-explanatory from the pictures. And I found Dot Dory and Nemo. <laughs> By the way, seahorses are not pretty and penguins are funny. <laughs> so our second day in Dubai, we decided we would be staying in and we would be going to the pool. The pool was on top of our hotel, by the way. So it was a rooftop pool, which had a beautiful view, as you can see. We were just lounging, chilling. Don't mind the random woman in the background. <laughs> and like I said, the view was beautiful.
so after the pool we just decided let's go to the mall why not shopping down towards right and we stumbled upon this lovely store and he allowed us to try on the couture <laughs> don't you love it i do and we got to see the dubai fountain and the wondrous show it has as you can see well you won't hear the music but uh, they were playing their own music and the water was dancing beautifully yeah <laughs> This is me when I'm waiting for mommy shop. Yeah. Don't mind the crazy lady. That's my mother. But yeah. I cannot forget to mention that they had a whole candy store like this and I almost went crazy in there trust me you would too now for the fun part this was the day that we were going on our safari and this was the day I was excited for this is our driver first part of the safari was driving through the sand domes and then meeting up with two other vehicles of people and exploring the sun for the first time it was quite interesting sun was beautiful look at that lighting <laughs> And this is me attempting to run down a hill and not falling when sun is moving from me and my feet. Yeah. <laughs> so this was us driving on the sand domes. This was part of the adventure and let me tell you, it was both scary and fun and I would always do it again. Trust me. Why not leave a mark? And then we got to watch the sunset before we went to our Royal Safari dinner. Where we got to ride horses and camels. Never mind the horse scared me. <laughs> But uh, it was fun. It was all included in the package. So we enjoyed whatever they told us we can do. We even got to pet a falcon. Then we got our buffet and we got entertainment. These were dancers and then in between I got to do a henna on myself. My mom did a henna as well but I didn't film it. This man, his performance was crazy. I mean look at that. That's his skirt by the way. Right? look at him then we got the typical belly dancing well not typical but everybody knows what belly dancing is and we got this wonderful performances from two beautiful women and it was just awesome 
they did different styles of belly dancing. It wasn't just some standing up and dancing. As you can see, they used different props to entertain us. And then they came into the crowd and started dancing with us. Yeah. I tried a little something something, you know. Why not? <laughs> she was teaching me. Then my mom tried as well. And then there was a man who braid fire. Okay, well, he didn't braid fire, but it was a fire show and it was pretty cool, as you can see on the show. Then we made it back home in time to fall asleep and miss going to the fireworks for New Year's. Yeah, but we saw it from our hotel. So this is how we spent our New Year's Eve into New Year's. And then we went straight back straight. But then it was the next day and we were on our Abu Dhabi tour. So fun fact, in Abu Dhabi, you can tell when you reach Abu Dhabi after leaving Dubai because the road then turns brown, like in the script. And we visit this place called Mirage, but we weren't allowed to go in and film. After the march, we had to cover up because we had to go in the mosque. And women were supposed to be coded, so they gave us fabrics and dresses so that we can be covered and go and explore it. Tell me how beautiful the mosque is. Really stunning. And this is where they do services where people come and pray. And basically it's like a big church in their religion. Did you know that Dubai has the largest carpet in the world? Yeah, check it out. <laughs> so leaving the mosque, we just went and explored some more. On the right side of me, these are villas where the rich and wealthy live. Yeah, I don't know how else to explain it. And then this long line of border is where a palace is so yeah ended up at Ferrari World and we got to see a Ferrari. They had different stores that you could have gone to, but we didn't indulge. And then it was our time to leave. Saying goodbye to Dubai Creek. But uh, while saying goodbye, we were also saying hello to our trip to Santorini. <laughs> Bye Dubai, until next time. <laughs>